Hey everyone, it's Alina here at Amore Fabrics. I hope your guys' Mother's Day was a blessing. I know mine was different. My family is far away, so I didn't get a chance to be with my family, but I did put some time in to make something beautiful for my mother. My mother is still alive, but I'm really grateful for that. <clears throat> I know a lot of a lot of women and men, they don't have their, their siblings or their, their family or, or their mother. But um, so I want to take advantage of what I can to um, be there for her as much as I can. But um, hi, hello, if you are new here, don't forget to thumbs up, like, uh, subscribe. I hope you like this channel. Um, I try my best to show things that I create, but um, most of the time I share new things that I add to my Etsy shop. Down below is all the information you need if you want to check out the shop and social media to follow along with not only what I post, but what are also our followers post as well. So. Don't forget to check that out. Um, so what you see here today is, as you guys know, I just recently had the daily deal where you have the two upholstery packs um, and you are able to um, get the gift with purchase kind of thing. And um, I was doodling with uh, the two packs because I wanted to create something special for my mom. I noticed that when you're on the internet and when your family is far away and you can't just go show up at their door and give a gift, uh, spending money to get flowers or edibles arrangements or anything like that that costs like an arm and a leg not that money is the importance of it it's just the the specialness of it I guess not that uh, getting something like that isn't special I just wanted something a little bit more handmade and personable and so I spent the time on Mother's Day um, to create my mom something special now something a little bit about my mother I really don't talk about family too much, but I'll give you a little bit about her. My mom is a Christian woman um, who um, has a heart of gold. Not to say my mom is perfect because nobody is, but I, I'm blessed because my mom, she has this thing where um, she has a prayer book. Now you guys are going to see where this comes into play. My mom prays for anybody and everybody. So for instance, say if you're grocery shopping and a woman is struggling, my mom will, will probably approach her and say, hey, can I help you out? She's just that, that kind of woman. And then she ended up being having a, like a two hour conversation with the person. And then before you know it, this person's in her prayer book. So, or a family member's in a prayer book. So my mom keeps a prayer book, um, like a, a paper book that's similar to this, just a blank book, usually a notebook that she gets you know, at the store kind of thing. And it is filled with names. And what my mom does every morning, like 4 or 5 a.m., first thing she does, she sits on the couch, she gets her Bible out, she gets her devotional out, and she gets her prayer book out. And for, I don't know, however long, she goes line by line to each person's name and prays for them. I don't know too many people who do that. Um, and if you do, gosh, what a blessing. I wish I was more like that. I, I know my mom's a good example of what I should do and be better at and I want to hopefully get to a point in my life that I can do that every day but um, a lot of things uh, a lot of people don't have that time but my mom makes time so um, so in the light of Mother's Day now you guys know what I did so I opened up one of the daily deal packs um, took some of that upholstery together and I thought I'll make her a prayer book a prayer book that she can change out um, the booklets because her prayer book gets so filled with names. I wanted her to have a stack of uh, booklets that are blanks um, that she can change out in her little prayer book. So as you can see here, I took um, pretty much the upholstery fabric. I took a manila envelope, you know, the ones that you, um, you kind of see it on the side because I didn't get to cover it up too much, like that orangey one. Um, and I laid it flat on this fabric and I cut it out. Um, and then I, I don't know, I just went with it. <laughs> if you guys want a tutorial on how I did this, say something down below and I will do that. Um, I just kind of went with it. I don't have all the measurements and everything, but I wanted it simple. I love Mother of Pearl, as you guys can see here. This is a Mother of Pearl button, shell button. For those who don't know shell buttons, they call them Mother of Pearl. So I figured that was perfect for a Mother's Day gift. I had put the fringe from the edge of some of the upholstery I had left over on one side. I could have done the other side, but I didn't because when I open up the journal, it lays flat like um, by just putting that one edging. I'm not sure why, but it just did. So I did, had no need to do that on the opposite side. So as you can see here, there's the other fabric um, from the neutral pack. Down below, I'll send the link to you guys um, uh, saying which one's the floral pack and which one's the neutral pack down below if you wanted to grab a pack. 
Also, if you don't want to grab the pack, I saw this fabric by the Half Yards listings. Um, so you can get half yard of this fabric, every fabric you see here kind of thing. But um, I, I found this cute little pendant and I put it right there. It was a cross and I figured she could put it anywhere. But I put it here because um, I wish I had a pen on me. Because if she had a pen, she could just put it in on the side here. And that little thing will hold in the, the pen in her journal, as you can see there. Which is nice, I thought, you know. Instead of sewing in it, I just did that. Um, but isn't that gorgeous? So what I did is, as you can see here, it's just I kept it to where there's pockets in case she needs to put little notes, her little calendar, or whatever in it. And I wanted to make sure this was flat. Because when she has her Bible and stuff at church, she could just lay it flat right on top. Um, and it lays flat, you know, um, and not bulky. I didn't want to do a clasp. I wanted it to lay nice and flat. That's the nice thing about upholstery fabric. It does. It seems to lay flat really well. So I have that. And I took um, another piece of upholstery fabric and I made it like um, a folder. You know, like what do you call that folder insert where you can just take this out and change out to the next one. And what's nice about this is there's extra pockets. Isn't that nice? So yeah, very simple, very sweet. Um, it is perfect for my mother for Mother's Day. Um, it's something she will use and she'll look at daily um, and uh, not only think of her daughter, but to uh, to just enjoy the gift that I've given her. So, and then my mom loves flowers, but she hates that, I, that they die. So I found this brooch. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I originally was going to put it here or put it at the bottom, but I don't think they go well together. So I'm just going to, I was going to take a piece of beautiful fabric and wrap this and put the rose on top. So she'll, she'll forever have a, a brooch that is a flower that um, will not die. And she thinks of me. She can maybe wear it to church or what have you. But that is my Mother's Day gift for my mother. I would love to know what you guys think down below. And at least you guys have an idea to see that I actually can work with the product too. And it was actually so simple to uh, sew. Oh, there's one more thing I didn't show you. It's kind of sticking out here. Oh, goodness. I am such a, a boy sometimes. So I also took a piece of, of, um, of the upholstery trim. And I had sewn it in when I sewn the, the uh, cover. So she has a certain page that she doesn't want to forget. She can put that little trim in there, close the book, and bam, be done. She, so she had a little bookmarker. I don't know what made me think of that, but I just did it. I don't know. Um, I don't know why, but um, now you know. <laughs> I thought it was just cute. It just kind of was sitting there on the table, and I thought, geez, that would be a great bookmarker. So, all right, guys. I'm glad you guys like what I did. Comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, if you guys want a tutorial, it is so simple, so sweet. I got this done, like, within an hour or two. Of course, it took me a little longer because I had to think and measure and, um, and have an idea. It just, if you really had the measurements and the idea, it would be done fast. Quick, easy book. All right, guys. Oh, you know what? Before I leave, you're probably wondering how I did it. Um, <laughs> how I got it in there. Oh, Lord. My goodness. You can tell I'm just on the new things. Well, the book center, you can't see it. But I can open it up. So I took that fabric and I folded it in half. And I just sewn it down the middle with an antique zigzag stitch. With the sewing machine. That's all I did. I just ran it right through there and bam, it was sewn in just easy, easy peasy. Um, and that was it. All right, guys, I hope you guys love my book. I am off to another video so you guys can see other goodies and things that I have done. Um, you guys have a blessed day and I hope your Mother's Day was wonderful. Bye, guys.